What's going on everyone? Welcome back to a new video. My name is of course Paul. Another S23 Ultra video in the making. This time, Whitestone Dome Premium Screen Protector. Is it any good? Can you still use your fingerprint? Is it still touch responsive? Let's not waste any time. Let's go and unbox this, see what you get. It is a two pack version as well. So you do have one spare. Let's go and get it fitted to the S23 Ultra and see just how good this really is. So everyone, here we go. Time to get a screen protector fitted and protect this S23 Ultra the way it was meant to be. So on the front of the box now, you've got obviously the UV light. This is what we're gonna need. There's obviously USB-C as well, which is absolutely fantastic. Full response, full clarity, full coverage, full filling, blue light cut, 9H surface hardness for scratch protection. And you do get two in the pack. This is what the pack's basically gonna look like. So let's just go ahead and let's just see if we can get this open. I haven't got the trusty unboxing knife with you. Let's take a look at what you get in the box. Okay, so let's open this up, place it to one side. You get three lots of glue sticks, even though you're only going to use like use two anyway, but just in case. You get the new Whitestone Dome UV light which is USB-C. You get your strips for the side to protect it, strip for the speaker grill. You get your two screen protectors inside this part. We're only going to need one, so I'm only going to take one out. Little bag of tricks. You get your side pieces as well. You get your, your jig that you're going to use, and your little piece of Lego, and an installation guide inside the box right there. What you'll also get is a white stone dome glass eraser. Now what the eraser is going to do, it's going to sit on top of the fingerprint sensor to make sure that it basically gels to the foam perfectly and works as it should. That's just quite heavy and apparently it is a rubber. You get the best of both worlds, you get a weight and a free rubber. Can't go wrong. So I've got everything out ready to go. I've also got an anchor power bank with a USB-C cable because I'm going to need that for the UV light a bit later on. As I'm not near any power outlet so I can't just plug it in. But I have got the power bank all ready to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the side strips and the bottom strip, etc. Now you're only going to need three because on this side there's no port or nothing on there. So what you're going to do is you're going to take one off. And what you're going to do where your ports and stuff are, you're going to go across. So let's go ahead and take that off. Okay, so there's one. So now I'm going to go and do the rest off camera because it's just a little bit easier. When you're stuck behind the camera trying to do this, it doesn't, it doesn't really go as well. So give me one second, I'll be right back. Okay, so as I said, you don't really need one on this side, but ports are covered with the S Pen. Volume buttons are covered on this side so no glue gets into them. I'm, I'm going to move this up and cover that properly. Give me one second. Volume rockers are covered so nothing can get in, and the top speaker is covered too. So let's go ahead and place that down now. Let's bring in the jig and start getting that ready. Because what you're going to do is you're going to get the foam pieces and you're going to place them into the sides like so. Just to make sure no glue seeps through. That's the last thing you want, some glue on your phone. Doesn't go well. So that's all set up. You're gonna need this a bit later on, once the phone's in it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your one of your wet wipes that you get, open it up. So you wanna make sure you do all this on a flat surface too. Make sure it's as flat as you can be. And then go over the phone, get all that debris, dust and fingerprints. Get them all off the phone. Give it as good a clean as you possibly can. I'm gonna do this again in a sec anyway, once it's in the jig just to make sure. So keep that to one side, grab your microfiber, go across the phone. So while it's like this, take your jig and place it over the phone. Make sure this part goes at the top because this is where your piece is gonna go for your speaker. And then place it down over the phone. Make sure it connects in all nice. Take your wet wipe and just gently go over the phone. You don't wanna to push too hard because it will pop back out again. Microfiber and just go over like so as you can see some residue coming off this so what you're going to do is you're going to take your dust removal sticker and you're just going to go over the phone if you see any sort of dust or debris make sure you take it off with this that's the last thing you want to see under your screen protector and then what i like to do is place this to one side because i'm going to do it again in a sec once you've done this so what you're going to do is you're going to take your speaker port or your speaker protect that and you're going to place it over it sits like so place it down so it's in that speaker port so you've got no issues you're going to grab this piece your little lego piece and you're going to place it in and over so that now sits in 
because what you're going to need is you're going to need what I like to call the ice cream spoon. You're going to need this shortly too. Now make sure you get it right because you can see where like the little tiny indents are. This is where it's going to sit over the phone for the curve. So make sure you get it the right way around. I know people that have done it the wrong way around in the past. The sticker portion where it tells you the step needs to be this way around. So make sure you get that right. You can place this in now if you want to. So place that in like so. Take your little ice cream spoon, fit it in like that. And what you're going to do is you're going to get your glue. You're going to remove the pink part from the top like so. You're going to place it inside the hole right there. And then when you're ready, you're going to twist and it should release the glue. So hopefully you should hear it hit. There we go. And as you can see, I'm not really on a straight part of the floor. I'm going to move it into the middle anyway. It sits. There we go. So obviously I'm not on a straight piece of floor right now. So I need to make sure that it's on, it's on like a nice even keel. When you're ready, just give it a quick tap. Make sure everything's out and then place this out the way. Because you're not going to need it again. You're going to take your screen protector. Peel off the back and paper. Okay. Place it into the gap like so. Lean it on. And then push down and let it go. Let it go and do its thing because you know it's gone a bit wrong anyway. So just go and let it do its thing. It's going to take a while to spread, so just let it spread out. So while it's still in the jig, you're going to get the rubber and you're going to place it on the bottom right here. Roughly around where the fingerprint sensor is. So it's now nice and on there. Now what I like to do is I don't pay attention to the details that they tell you to do it. I do it in my own way. So what I do is you're meant to do 15 seconds at the top. 15 at the bottom and then 60 and so on like that but what i like to do is 15 in the top 15 in the middle 15 at the bottom move it up do 60 at the top 60 in the middle 60 at the bottom take it out the jig give it a good clean over and then do another 60 seconds on each section just to make sure that the glue is nice and cured and that fingerprint sensor is still gonna work so let's go ahead let's give it its first blast of 15 seconds Okay, move it down now into the middle and another 15. Okay, and right down now to the very bottom with the rubber still on the screen. Another blast of 15 seconds. Okay, now I like to move it back up to the top and just do another 60. So basically you're doing double click now for 60 seconds. So 60 top, 60 middle, 60 bottom. Take it out, give it a clean and then I might leave the rubber off for the next step just so that that bit can cure too. One the top. Double tap, this should give you 60 seconds now. Okay, 60 in the middle. Double click, let it do 60 and then one more 60 at the bottom and we'll take it out and take a good look at it. And then 60, just right at the very bottom now. Okay, so now that's the first lot of 60 seconds done. Let's take off the rubber. Now let's pop the phone out of the jig. So just be very careful, just gently Prize it down. It's got to click out of that jig. But now, yeah, there seems to be some glue leak, but not as bad as I thought it'd be. It will clean off. But I'm going to leave the black pieces that are on there already, I'm going to leave them on again. I'm going to do 60 at the top, 60 middle, 60 bottom with no rubber on it. Clean it off, and then we'll see how good it looks. Okay, one more in the middle. Okay, and final one on the very bottom. Okay, so we're all sorted now, everything's off, this is all done. So now it's time to see whether the fingerprint sensor works or not. So, open it out. Unfortunately it scanned my face, so that's not where it scanned my face. Okay, give it a whirl. And it's in. Take it off. Do it again, one more time. And there we go, in with the fingerprint sensor. All works just as good as it should. Let's jump in and let's see now whether some cases fit without sort of without wrecking the screen protector. We'll try these two that I've got with me, and you'll see overlay of the Spigen one that I've got too to see whether that works. But let's try the ESR one first. Let's slap it into the case. So now that's in there. So the white stone dome screen protector, as you can see, fits perfectly. That's just a bit of glue. So it does need a good little while, like about 24 hours, just to cure properly. Then you can take off all the excess glue that you can find. And you'll find a fair bit of it for like a day or two. But once it's all off, it will look absolutely flawless. So that's the ESR case. Now let's try 
the genuine Samsung leather case. And there we go, fits perfectly. As I say, don't forget you'll see glue popping up every now and again. Just give it a wipe over and it'll come off. But fits in flawlessly. There's that one. And now you're going to see the overlay of the Spigen one right now. This is the Spigen Ultra Hybrid Galaxy Edition 01. With that, I fitted MagSafe too. If you haven't seen the video, I'll leave it linked up above for you guys to check out. And at the very end on one of the cards. And you can catch it in the playlist too. Everyone, let me know what you think of the install of the Whitestone Dome Screen Protector. It needs a good, good clean. There we go. Whitestone Dome screen protector, so it all fits in. It's nice and crystal clear. You can watch content on this, you know, TikTok, YouTube, whatever. You can watch tons of content on it. It's nice and crystal clear. Clarity's good. Fingerprint sensor works, and that's all that matters. And there we go, straight in. You're gonna find links to the Whitestone Dome premium glass screen protector link down below. Along with the cases they do for the S23 Ultra, the other film protector that they do, for the S23 Ultra, the S23, S23 Plus and S23 Ultra. I'll leave it all linked down there for you guys to check out in case you're picking up a different phone besides the Ultra. But thank you guys so much for watching as always. I truly, truly appreciate it. Like if you liked it, subs if you loved it, turn those notifications on and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care guys, see you all soon. Rack.